Hello, we are going to do a human figure which is code 1. She is a lady dancing. It's a core 1 and straight view. It's a very simple human figure. So we'll keep our copy in portrait form. And then as we know the first thing we'll start with is the skeleton. So keep the copy in portrait form and draw the skeleton the head neck torso foot and the hands the skeleton should represent exactly the human figure which we are going to draw then we'll start correcting the skeleton into the human figure we'll start from the chin and the neck portion very accurately draw the chin and the neck region including the necklace design this is the first step and the major step the whole human figure's body and the face is going to be dependent on the chin and the neck region then we'll start with the dress draw the lines according to the chin and neck region from top to bottom be very accurate in the lines because they depict the flow of the dress here no lines should be approximated all the lines should be accurate starting from top to bottom continue in the same fashion draw all the lines in the dress from top to bottom also draw the hand on the right side we all know the rules of drawing a hand, it's supposed to be thick to thin. But in this case, because of the view, the thickness is there in the center. Then is the foot. We can see only a small portion of the foot and we can see only one type of foot. But the rule of drawing the foot is exactly that has been taught. Draw the square, correct it by line A. Draw the toes, correct line B. Then the last hand, the hand on the right hand side. This will follow simply the rule of hand, thick to thin. The fingers are not very clearly visible, but follow the structure that you see. Then the face, very important, first get the position of the features starting from bottom to top, comparing the chin, get the position of the lips, position of the nose and position of the eyes, just the position structure doesn't matter. Now we'll follow the rule of portrait, we'll draw the structure of the eye close to the nose, then the nose, then the other eye, then the lips. We cannot change the position which we have decided previously, we are just changing the structure. Then. We'll just draw the face line closer to the eye. Chin is already drawn, we cannot change the chin. And then we'll do the other face line, face line too, then the hair. The face is done. If you follow the rules, face will come easily. If you don't follow the rules, it's very difficult to get the face. And this is the final sketch of the human figure. Now once we have got the sketch, we'll start shading. The shading will happen from top to bottom. As if we do it from bottom to top, it is a chance of smudging. So we'll start from the face. We'll just start from the features and then the outer part, outer part of the uh, face inside the chin 
All setting is as we have already done. Just don't leave any strokes. Then we'll set the hand. There are some dark tones in the hand because of the shadow cost. For the dress, first we'll take a lighter tone and shade the whole of the dress completely in slanting a direction but no need to change the, uh, no need to show the direction and the lighter tone will completely shed the dress and then we'll make the darker shadows in the dress the darker lines and the designs you have to be very accurate in the lines but for the design I've just done a simple scribbling I have not completely followed the design on the dress Same way we'll complete the dress. The line should be accurate because that shows the flow, but the designs need not be accurate. Last, we'll do the design on the right side and we'll shed the hand. Please note, near the fingers is absolutely dark. And this is the final human figure with the background which has got criss-cross effect. It's not very difficult if you follow the rules. All the best.